So let's look at mm, let's look at uh, accommodation. What does it mean? I don't mean the accommodation where you stay. No, yeah, when you say accommodation, this is the ability of the eye to see near and far objects. So the ability of the eye to change the focal length, focus the near and the far objects. We call it accommodation. So we have two kinds of uh, objects. We have the object which is near and then which we call the short distance object or the near object and then we also have the object which is far which we call the far or the distant object. If the object is more than six meters, then we say that the, at all that object is far. If the object is less than six meters from the eye, then we say that that object is is near. So this there are some parts which you need to know when you're talking about accommodation. The first one you need to know about the lens. You need to know about the retina you need to know about the distance of the eye so the parts suspensory ciliary muscles talk about the ciliary muscles talk about the suspensory ligaments and then talk about the lens these are the three parts which are going to help in aiding the object to be focused on the retina so what happens in short distance when the light comes into the eye, it will be refracted by this cornea and then uh, aqueous human. Then it will fall onto the lens. So now, if you see an object which is near, you see it as big. If you see the object which is far, you see it as small. So if it's near, the idea is if it's near, then the lens must be, you see it as big, then the lens must be big it must be more convex it must be to be thick yes so how do we make this lens thick so let's look at it so you have the first one here it shows that you are in dealing with a near object the near object the, the, the lens must be big because you see the object as big the far object the lens must be small because you see it as small so if this one has a more refracting power then this one has a small refracting power so if the object is big, you cannot use a hammer to kill a mosquito. So if this object is too small, so you require a small, a small lens to focus the image on the retina. But if the, the object you see it as big, then you require a big lens, a thick lens with a high refracting power so that you can focus it on the retina. So let's look at it, the near object. The first one, the ciliary muscles will contract so we have these layer muscles will contract when they contract then automatically this must be in the opposite way then the suspensor ligament will slacken it will relax yes this one will contract this one will relax you see that it has loosened it has loosened then the tension on the lens because it has loosened the tension on the lens will become less so the tension and lens will decrease this one will contract, this one will slacken, it means that you will loosen, and then the tension on the lens will decrease. The lens becomes more convex, becomes more thick, and then the reflecting power of the lens will increase, and then the reflecting power of the lens will increase. Once it increases, it means that it can bend this light more onto the retina, and then the light will be focused on the retina, will be able to see the object will be able to see the object it means that the image has been formed onto the retina and then if you look at uh, the the object which is far is the opposite of the other it's too far you see it as very small the light comes as with a small beam it comes as a small beam so this lens what you need to do is make this lens become more smaller so that that small light or th that field can be focused onto the retina. Let's look at it. There is the scenario. The, the first one is the ciliary muscles must relax, and then this one must become taut. It must straighten. Yes, it must be pulled. So the ciliary muscles relaxes. Then 
the, 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 the suspensor ligaments must become taut. When it becomes taut, when it is being pulled, it will pull the lens. It means that the tension on the lens will become greater. So the tension on the lens will, will increase, and then now the lens will become more smaller. Check on this. It become more smaller. It means that you become less convex. That's in science. You become less convex. And then once it becomes less convex, the reflecting power will reduce. The reflecting power of the lens and the cornea will decrease. And then our light can be focused on the retina. So you'll be able to see the object. Uh, let's look at eye defects. There are four different kinds of eye defects which we need to know. The first one is short sightedness, the long sightedness astigmatism and then cataracts those are the four kinds of sightedness you need let's look at um let's start with the short sightedness uh, when you talk about short sightedness it means that short sight you can see objects which are near if an object which is near you can see it so you don't need any correction with the short sight an object which is near, you will be able to see it. So the, the eye lens producing the sharp image at the retina without the need of any correcting the lens. So that's why you say that short sight, you will be able to see objects which are near. But objects which are far, you won't be able to see them. Why? The objects, when it comes, when it comes, you the image will be formed in front of the retina yes if this is the retina it will be formed in front of the retina it means that the light is not strong enough to reach the what to reach the the retina or the lens is too powerful it bends the light before it reaches the retina it bends it too much so what causes it the eyeball is too long so the light cannot reach here the, this ball is too long for this light which is coming from the far object to reach the retina so number two the lens is too powerful yes it means that it bends the light too much so that it does not reach the retina that's why we say that the eye lens is too thick it is more convex so the image is focused in front of the retina so the eyeball is too long the lens is too powerful it's too thick it's too convex and then the image is formed in front of the retina so how do we correct this uh, defect so you have to put on a lens or glasses which have lenses we call this one concave concave lens so or what you call the diverging so when the light comes it falls on this lens it diverges it it becomes it makes it the beam it makes the beam to be the beam of light uh, or rays to be more bigger so that once it reaches the lens at least the the beam will appear as if it is coming from a near object it look like a, a, a wide beam which which appears to be coming from a near object so this diverging lens when the light comes you see that when it comes it it bends outwards yes so that it becomes bigger so by the time it reaches the lens because the lens is too powerful then it can bend this light back to the retina and then the object will be able to be seen the image will be formed onto the retina that's why you're saying that by using diverging lens The image at, uh, at, the, at, at, at point F is moved further back to be focused on the retina. So that we'll be able to see the, the object uh, as a result of the image being focused onto the retina. So it's the, the, diff, the, the opposite of um, the long sightedness. So short sightedness, sometimes we call it myopia. Then let's look at the long sightedness. It means that you are able to see objects which are far. Long sightedness. The eye is able to see objects which are far, but won't be able to see objects which are near. That's why I say far objects, you don't need any correction. Objects which are far, you'll be able to see them. The image is focused onto the retina, but objects which are near, you won't be able to see them. 
Why? Because the eyeball is too short, the image is formed behind the retina, and then the lens is too weak to bring this to refract light uh, to the retina. So what happens? You see that the eyeball is too short, so it means that when the light comes, it's too because the beam is too big, so it falls behind the retina, and then the lens is too weak, or is too thin, or is too is 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 more is less convex. The lens is less convex, so it means that it has no refracting power. The refracting power is less, so it can't uh, bend the light to the retina. It's too weak. As is like bringing a small stone and then you want to kill an elephant. So the beam is too strong and then we bring the small lens to to focus the image onto the retina. It's not it won't be able to, 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 to happen. The lens must be thick corresponding to the wideness of the beam of the light falling onto it. So what are the remedies? What you need to do is to put on a convex lens a converging lens once the beam comes as big this this light is supposed to be converged it's converged onto the retina it's converged a bit it's too big so it's converged before it reaches the lens so by the time it reaches the lens it will appear as if it is coming from a far object and then by the time it reaches the lens the lens converges it more and then the image will be focused onto the retina. That's why you're saying that you put on a converging lens, what you call the, the convex lens, and then the image, this image will be shifted back to the retina, so you will, will be able to see the object. To answer some of these questions, uh, we have part A, I can ask you what is this, so this is the beam of light coming into, you see this part is the, the pupil, then you have the lens, you have the, the suspensory ligament, and then you have the the ciliary muscles. So, what are the questions? Label part two, three, four, and five. Two is the the cornea. Three, we saw it is the lens. Four is the suspensory ligament. Five is the uh, ciliary body, the the ciliary muscles. Name and describe the process that takes place at one. What are they looking for? They are looking at check. Eh? This is amount of light entering the eye. It's dim light because the, the pupil is widely open. So describe, say dim light will mix the things. Radio muscles will contract, sacral muscles will relax, and then the iris, uh, the diameter of the pupil will dilate or the pupil will dilate and then more light will enter the eye. State how the defect can be treated to improve the vision. State how the following defects can be treated to improve the vision. So we have seen two vision, two defects, that is short sightedness, short sightedness which is myopia and then long sightedness which you call the hypermetropia. Then we have other defects. Sightedness we put on the Conve the concave lens and then short then we put on the convex lens. What about astigmatism? Astigmatism is as a result of, it's very common in old age people. It's, the, the cornea is unevenly, is uneven. So you form, in most cases you form multiple images on the retina. If you form multiple images on the retina, it means that you won't be able to see. You see very, uh, you won't be able to see the, the, the object here. You see some part clear, some part not clear. So what do you do? You put on what you call the spherical lenses so, so that it brings about the even distribution of the image. And then you have the cataracts. This one, the, 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 the lens becomes crystallized and then you see a milky substance in the eye. It becomes crystallized. You just have to do a surgery go and then they do a surgery or they can remove the lens and then they replace it with a plastic lens. Thank you very much. Next class is going to be the human ear and then uh, we want to look at it in two detail.